this one's a little tight so it's going to be a little hard to take photos but i'll do video i like to do those anyway all right so <clears throat> this is going to go out to a specific customer as usual always although we broadcast this to everybody so if you need comanche parts i got three of them lined up here and one half one in the back out of the four total we have, which that one is almost not even considered because, I mean, it does have a good chassis under it, the unibody, uh, the bed is gone though. Out of the four, we have two long beds and then two shorts, this one and then the other ones, the bed is already short, uh, sold on. Um, that one was pretty clean. This bed is actually cleaner, which is awesome. So somebody will get a nice bed, um, <clears throat> unless this customer does want the bed as well. And uh, we can discuss that. Um, tailgate on this one, Another thing, as you can see, all the tailgates are sold. I do have one more tailgate in the back, although it's pretty banged up on the inside. I think the, the outside panel is nice. This one's really clean. It's got a couple small bubbles on the handle itself, but overall the actual uh, you know, condition of the, the tailgate is, is, I would say grade A. I mean, <clears throat> as close to grade A as you're gonna find as far as use go. Let's see the inside, because this is usually where they like to get beat up is when things roll around in the back of these things. So, or this one may not even open right now. Let's see. It's got so much stuff up against it. That would not be. Okay. And that one looks awesome. So the other one we have has got like a crease on it. There's a couple dings on it, some scratches, but that's a really clean tailgate. Um, it's got a ton of shit in it, so obviously I can't show you the floors or the cab corners, stuff that people are going to want to see. But in this case, it would be like we do a tub. Um, we do the best job we can from the sides. Um, we'll get you a video if you decide something you're wanting. A little more info on this particular uh, um, bed, you know, and just make sure this stuff is not really it doesn't feel soft at all it does feel like there's a little bit of bubbling right there by the or the uh let's see here we can get this one handed off here. so yeah so a little bit of bubbling probably where the paint came off but it doesn't look like oh, no take that back look at that so and that's something i'll show you when i wash stuff too so as i'm pushing on it you can kind of see the extent the washer will push through anything else that i can't and I would imagine maybe the size of a half dollar here. So um, it feels pretty solid in the seam here. So it looks like it's just flat sheet metal, but just something to keep in mind. Not a real common place to rust on these things. Kind of surprise there, but with fuel coming out of it, especially the ethanol shit they put in these things, um, this is not a huge surprise. But the corners look super solid. And we'll have to see in the undercarriers. They're not all beat up, which a lot of times they are. The housings for the tail lights are beautiful. Got a little patina down the side of it, but perfectly straight. I don't see even a ding on that side. And then this housing here, this has got a little, little ding there. You can kind of see it right there. Get that one to pop out. But the actual rail looks nice and solid. Um, and I didn't show this to a customer. We just showed the topper. I might let him see that one before. We actually say that one's available, but if, if that one does go, I do have a blue one and then I'll have um, a red one. Otherwise, I'll have this one and the blue one. So in case anybody's interested in that, and that looks beautiful and all that looks super clean as well. So, uh, so super solid bed other than that one spot on it. And then again, we'll have to see on the bottom, obviously these corners this out of here make sure that it's not wavy hasn't been super overloaded ironically most of the crap that's in it came out of it out of one of these that i'm sure we had a dash pulled and they just stuffed it so nothing heavy in it at the moment but who knows what it's been in it and again we'll have to get it cleaned out so in this case it'd be pre dismantle we'd give it a price we'd lock it down if it turns out to be better great you're locked in if it turns out to be worse you can get out of it or we'd swap it which in this case i can't swap it because they just don't exist um, or we'd lower the price on it. Uh, so you're not really committed to anything less quality than what we're stating it is. Um, and the only thing right now I would price this as without knowing anything back here is, is I'd price it based on this repair here. So, okay. 
And then of course the tailgates are sold separately. Um, and you can have the hardware if we do that. Part of these guys. Tailgates are spendy on these, so keep that in mind, but they're next to impossible to find. The, the beds are actually spendy too because of the short bed. The long beds are a little bit more common. This one's actually pretty clean. It's got a couple little dingers on it, but overall <clears throat> for a nice bed, um, this one is going to be a, a, a real nice long bed if you happen to have a long bed. This one, if you happen to have somebody you just need a wheel in, um, it's not terrible, but it's got dings there, kind of some big gouges or something in the side here. That side's okay. The bed flooring is actually really nice in this one. So uh, for the price of this whole thing, just to get a floor out of it might be worth for somebody. Okay, and then of course the cabs as well, if you guys know, if you're not familiar with Comanches, <clears throat> the way these work is there's, in, in a sense, there's a frame back here. Normally they're unibodies like a Cherokee, but on a Comanche, it's unibody up until the bed, and then they go. It looks like a, a like a frame, but it's like it's like a half and half. It's still like a unibody, but it does unbolt. You can pull the beds of these. The cabs are one with the unibody. So um, for those of you looking to make like a four door Cherokee. Uh, you know that's usually what they use them out of they usually cut they usually basically take a cherokee a four-door and uh what is it scab them together whatever you want to call terminology wise they're pretty cool i've seen one at sema that was done really well a couple years ago but so we'll have a couple cabs here that's my point to all this um the cabs from the cab forward is the same um on them so uh we have that guy which should be nice and solid and then this one here, also nice and solid. It's got a couple dingers on the fender, but should be a solid uh, tub or uh, cab. And then this one, and then that one out there is actually beautiful. It's probably the reason I've hung onto it. So that one's ready to go. It's a red one. Um, I drove that one back from Montana. That was how clean that one was. And uh, years ago, we, we stripped her down. I've dragged it all over the countryside when we were in Erie. That one kind of came apart. So, And then we have some interior pieces. The the desired thing to do on these guys if you're not familiar with again the Cherokee line or the Comanche line is to depending on what you like obviously but is to put the 9701 this one's crunched but like that blue one down there that's got a couple dingers on it but overall people like the look of those they, they change them and you can change the front ends to that style you can actually change the dashes in these too and that one that we've seen had that done so they retro the front end they retro the dash so it looked all modern it was pretty cool got to say a lot of work to do all that but got the time um some of that work we do some of it we don't we don't do the dash swaps that, that gets a little involved and really don't do much in the front end stuff we just mainly stick to the mechanical and the oem stuff out here but we'll sell you anything um to do those kind of swaps so all right well i think that's about it um questions comments concerns let me know 303-666-9020 pressurebreakers.com and uh deposit will secure it and then usually a couple weeks out um, uh, for pulling it. And just because this is our slow season, we dwindle our staff down and then January picks up, we'll, cut, we'll bring a couple guys on. But if you're in need of it sooner than later, just express that when you talk to me or one of us and uh, we'll do our best to get it out there for you. Um, Hot Shots is the best option. Ship these on the Midwest, East Coast. I just did a run myself for tubs and frames. I'm not planning on another run for several months, so this will be likely going on a hot shot and uh, we flip them over they're the best to travel either upside down or um, uh, end up depending on how much space the, the guy has so but it's all nice and neat and that way you get it and it's all clean there's no damage on it from strapping or down all right 303-666-9020 partsbreakers.com i appreciate you watching the video